Esports aren't immune to the pressures and temptations of any other sport, especially now that there are millions of dollars and careers at stake. If the concern with traditional sports is that some performers are taking steroids and growth hormones to enhance their abilities, in professional video games there's an entirely different category of drugs that is meant to help players get the extra edge. Before we continue, we need to make it absolutely clear that nobody is condoning the use of performance-enhancing drugs, nootropics, smart drugs or anything else because many of today's substances have potential harmful side effects, especially if they aren't used as prescribed. Even though there are many more who won't ever admit it, here are five gamers that publicly acknowledged using performance-enhancing drugs. The 26-year-old professional Counter-Strike player known as Semphis is the one who rocked the world of esports when in July 2015 he publicly admitted to taking performance drugs during a tournament in Poland. I don't even care, we were all on Adderall, were the words that opened the Pandora's box of ESL investigations, anti-doping tests and public turmoil concerning the use of performance-enhancing drugs in esports. From this moment onward, an avalanche of articles began to spawn in gaming publications as well as in mainstream media discussing the effects of such substances how and if players should be periodically tested and most importantly, for how long will this trend be going on? It seems that using Adderall was a somehow open secret in the world of professional gaming, many players taking it but never feeling like they're doing something wrong. Steven used to take Adderall as a young child to treat his ADHD, so when someone offered him a pill during a tournament he immediately took it, knowing the calming effects it can have. After this instance, he went to his doctor and got a prescription for this performance-enhancing drug, making it a habit of using it each time he played online or in competitions. After a while, Steven joined a professional Halo team and started using Adderall more and more often, because it made him feel less nervous during the stressful competitions. Steven also claims that the use of methamphetamine-based drugs is very frequent in esports stating that many of the professional Halo players that he met were using it on a regular basis. In 2013, a professional Call of Duty player known as Clayster was accused by the rival team of taking Adderall during professional matches. He didn't straight up deny this allegation, and after the competition ended he did a Q&A where he stated that he was prescribed this drug since the age of 8 when he was first diagnosed with ADD. In addition to this statement, he also mentioned that he wouldn't hand it out to his teammates like candy or anything, making it even more unclear if he was on Adderall during the competition or not. He even accused the opposing team of using PED drug only to get himself out of the limelight, but the fact that he didn't firmly deny the allegations makes us wonder what the true story really is. The prodigious gamer and world-class shit-talker Willy Mammoth has publicly acknowledged in one of his popular videos that he was on Adderall since performance-enhancing substances aren't banned on YouTube. The flawless snipes with perfect timing that he performs in Battlefield 1 videos are clearly the result of some type of smart drug that can help you calm your nerves and steady your heart rate like a cold-blooded assassin. Willy Mammoth is known for his fast-paced, controversial videos where he performs all kinds of unbelievable gaming manoeuvres that can usually be seen only in professional tournaments, so admitting to taking some sort of PED drug comes out as no surprise. However, being an outspoken person, the prehistoric coxman has no problem with coming clean and taking full responsibility for a lifestyle that might not be on everybody's list of appreciations. Adderall is the most popular performance-enhancing drug, giving an impressive boost of energy and concentration that can make a huge difference when playing a competitive game such as Battlefield 1. This extra shot in the arm, combined with Willy Mammoth's natural skills, results in the amazing footage you can see every time he posts a new mind-blowing video on his YouTube channel. A lot of players resort to energy drinks and other people resort to Adderall. This is how professional Halo player Tyler Mozingo began his statement regarding the PED issue. Being asked by Kelly Nikwi of ESPN's Outside the Lines if he was one of the people who used Adderall as a helping substance, he simply said yes. He was taking it in tournaments without a medical prescription just to help him focus better on the game. However, it seems that Tyler has stopped using the drug after a while and by 2016 when the discussion took place he was completely clean. Which which makes his case applaudable because not many people can openly admit to using drugs, let alone give them up so easily. 
this was our list discussing the use of performance enhancing drugs when it comes to gaming and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. We often ask our audience for suggestions to compile these lists and if you'd like to contribute please follow Frag Hero on Facebook. If you think that esports players should be drug tested or if you've heard of any other doping scandal please tell us in the comments below because we do try to read pretty much everything. Now would also be a great time to encourage you to subscribe because we upload new stuff all of the time so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. You can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming related articles but until next time thanks for watching and have a great day.